Welcome to Real Physics. Today I want to briefly talk about Heisenberg and Dirac and their different approaches to physics. And there is a nice story because it appears that all atomic physicists at the beginning of the 20th century like hiking in the mountains, like Niels Bohr and Heisenberg, but I think also Schrödinger and Dirac like nature, except Pauli. And there is a story that Heisenberg and Dirac had very different approaches. How to make progress in a physical theory and they compared it to the problem how to climb a mountain and Dirac said basically you have to do step by step climbing a little bit and then look around and where you can go and then do the next step of your calculations in a theory and Heisenberg instead was the one claiming that you have to get first an overview where the right path is and and then by having that overview choosing the way and work out the details later. Well, Heisenberg was a bit too optimistic sometimes, and I think it was in the 1950s when he boldly claimed that he had a theory of everything and just the details have to be worked out. And then he was famously mocked by Wolfgang Pauli, who sent a postcard to his colleagues with an empty frame of a picture and the comment, I can paint like Tizian, only the details are missing. So I side with Heisenberg in this approach, how to do physics, how to build a theory, as opposed to Dirac. But on the other hand, I have much more sympathy for Dirac's way of doing physics because Heisenberg was very ambitious. He was the one who boldly claimed in 1927 that he had the right theory just because the majority of physicists were agreeing on the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics. That's a completely wrong approach to science. It does not work by majority. And Dirac was much more modest, I think, and... Well, he made very important contributions to quantum mechanics, but I think he is still very underestimated regarding his contributions to cosmology and his large number hypothesis. I have talked several times of this. I think it's very important. And Heisenberg could be a little bit overestimated even. Anyway, making a comparison of these two great physicists of the beginning of the 20th century just came to my mind when you look at the mountains and how to climb mountains. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. And if you're interested in fundamental physics, subscribe to this channel.